Uh, welcome, everyone. Let me uh, welcome you at this session this afternoon or this morning, this evening, depending on where you join us from. Uh, as far as I see, there's plenty of people from all over the world. So I think for some reason, uh, so for some people, it's good morning. Uh, for some people, it's good afternoon or good night. Uh, uh, we are here in Hungary and we are super excited because we are introducing Booker Class 2.0 for the first time. Uh, so you are the first ones uh, to see the first bits of it. Uh, we are going to share uh, the application itself as well as uh, some other slides. Uh, and I also have some of my colleagues here to help me. Uh, so this is why we are super excited. Once again, the house rules, please keep yourself uh, muted during the session. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask from uh, in the chat box. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you all know uh, where it is. Uh, another rule is that please, if you uh, don't want to be on the recording, then keep your camera off. Uh, so we have no problem sharing it with those who cannot be here today later on. Um, yes, the questions, as I said, in the chat box, we will definitely have a Q&A at the end of the session. So you can, uh, you can ask your questions and we will make sure to answer them. And last but not least, we have a very special offer for you uh, because this is a new app, uh, almost new app launching soon. Then uh, we want to give you the chance to try it uh, for free with a bit less limitations. So whoever is interested, uh, please stay and, until the end of the webinar. We will share a link with you where you can sign up for this one month trial uh, that you can use with your whole class. So with even 25 students, you can use Booker class for a whole month for free. Uh, you can experience it and, um, and enjoy uh, the reading experience. I think let's get started. It's uh, 4, 4 p.m. here uh, in Hungary. Uh, let me introduce myself very quickly. My name is Anna Boldok, and uh, the reason why I am the host of this webinar is that I was the one, I was one of the ones starting to creating this platform uh, with my colleague Kinga. And since then, I've been working on this product from many uh, perspectives, from production side, uh, on the product itself, and now I am responsible for international partnerships. Uh, I also have two colleagues here with me. Uh, it is because I think that we can say surely that the two main pillars of Booker class is uh, the educational foundation and the other one is the very high quality uh, content itself, the book production. So I invited my two colleagues. Uh, one is Dominica, uh, who is head of education, and Zoltan, who is head of production. Let me quickly... Uh, Hello, everyone. Them. Yes. Say hi. Hello, hello to you. Great. So Dominica, as head of education, is actually a psychologist by profession. Uh, she's been teaching, she was teaching uh, English in China. So she has a very interesting uh, background. And then she started to work at Booker and she's responsible for basically managing our educational team, uh, which consists of ESL teachers, children's literature experts, um, of course, editors, writers, uh, and she's in very close touch with our production team. And Zoltan, uh, who is the head of production, uh, well, he has a fascinating background as well. Uh, he has been an animation and visual effects producer for 15 years. He has been supervisor of visual effects for many feature films. Uh, he produced numerous animated series and features, both in 2D and 3D. And he even has his own uh, feature film himself. So it's thanks to him that the production goes as smoothly as it uh, does in Booker. And uh, with the help of uh, the two of them, we will give you a little more insights into what's new about Booker class. Uh, so let me uh, share a bit about our company first. Because as far as I know, there's many people who join us for the first time. I also know that there's many who has been with us before. So I hope uh, uh, you don't mind a little bit of repetition. So our company Booker Kids was founded five years ago with the mission of uh, making reading an everyday habit in children's lives. We saw that, and I mean, I think every one of us sees that uh, reading and storytelling becomes something underrated, uh, but, 
through reading we can gain so many knowledge and uh, and empathy and awareness and uh, social emotional skills that we really thought that it's something to transfer to the to the children it's something that they just shouldn't avoid and regardless of what uh, platform we use if, if it's a print book or if it's a video uh, or if it's an ebook we need to tell stories to them this is why we created this company five years ago uh, with this mission and at first we created children's books uh, based on already existing print books but then we were actually running researches in 2018 uh, with this uh, with the format that we created and it was very obviously shown and proven uh, with the help of two, two, more than 2,000 students and 40 teachers, that this unique format is capable of maintaining attention on the long run, and it really engages the students, they really enjoy learning with it, so we realized that probably it's best if we focus more on education. And since this moment, we created many EdTech uh, applications. Uh, for example, one for native language uh, acquisition or uh, reading comprehension development and literacy development, and also Booker class uh, that you are here for today, which is specifically for English as a second language uh, teaching through storytelling. Um, so this is about uh, Booker Kids. And uh, since, since then, since 2015, we actually developed so much. As you can hear, we turn more towards EdTech and uh, we also have a much bigger team. Uh, we started with around the three of us and now it's a team of 40 people uh, with uh, ESL experts, children's literature experts, of course, developers, marketers, product specialists, uh, lots and lots of illustrators and animators. So it's a, it's a big team with a big mission. Uh, a lot of things have changed, but what did not change is the main values and the main pillars of the solution, which is the educational foundation, the high quality and the very mission driven team. So this is who we are uh, today. And uh, now I would like to uh, go on the next uh, topic, which I think is uh, what everyone is here for today, which is Booker class, uh, how it came to life. Yes, I do have a slide for this that's reassuring. Uh, so as you probably know, because most of you are teachers and, uh, and school leaders, reading and storytelling plays a very important um, role in education uh, and especially in language, foreign language acquisition. Uh, what we see is that through stories, a language starts to make sense so much quicker. The vocabulary, um, uh, the grammar, uh, the chunks, the, the everyday expressions, uh, they start to get familiar with it much faster if it's all implemented into a context, into a storyline. Of course, story is not only capable of, uh, of improving your uh, reading skills or English language skills, but also they can show uh, you or, or help you in uh, cultural awareness, in social emotional uh, skills, in critical thinking, which I believe is extremely important today. Um, and all in all, being having a critical thinking and having a good reading comprehension in English is very important uh, because the world is super globalized. It's uh, quite diverse uh, and quite divided lately. Uh, so it's really important that you have uh, confidence skills uh, to understand what's happening around you. And this is why we created uh, Booker Class, which is a storytelling based platform. Uh, a complementary tool uh, to serve you English teachers and your students. It consists of uh, two, uh, two elements, basically. One is the library of interactive uh, ebooks with animation, uh, narration, text highlighting and educational games and also flashcards. Uh, and the other pillar is the teacher's dashboard where you as a teacher can track your students uh, um, progress, reading habits, and your, their book, uh, you can assign books to them. Uh, so this is basically what uh, Booker Class as a platform is. Uh, we also have some supporting materials such as flashcards or activity tips and printables. Let me share a video of Booker Class, which I hope will. Teach English with the finest literature. In class, children are used to learning from textbooks. Why don't you accompany these materials with our interactive learning tool? 
Research shows that animated interactive books and games maintain a child's attention. They develop students' linguistic awareness and have a positive effect on students' comprehension skills. 98% of our students love reading with book a class, which shows in their results as well. Combining cutting-edge technology with research and our love of books, we created Book a Class, a supplemental educational platform designed to teach English as a second language. Book a Class offers titles by professionals on six levels, from classics of world literature to unique original stories, songs and more for children between the ages of 2 to 12. An enriching digital experience with the help of animation, native narration, text highlighting, educational games, quizzes and flashcards. Say goodbye to long hours of admin work, testing and reporting. Designed by teachers for teachers, Book a Class Teachers Dashboard tracks overall engagement, reading habits, assignment completion, level progression and language skill development. Let's free up your time so you can focus on what you do best – teaching. Book a Class. Teach and learn English with the finest literature. Request your free demo now. Teach English. Yes, so this is Booker Class in a nutshell. Um, now let me actually share the application itself, which I think is the is the star of the event. I made a mistake. As far as I know, now you see my screen, right? Uh, so this is our new app, Booker Class 2.0, and this is the student view that you uh, see at the moment. Uh, one of the biggest uh, changes is probably what you've been waiting for the most, is that we do have a desktop version uh, besides the uh, mobile versions that we already have. So from July 1st, when this app launches, you will be able to reach Booker Class Library on your Android and iOS devices, as well as on your Mac and Windows uh, computers as a teacher, as a parent, or as a student. This, what we see now is the student look, and I will guide you through uh, the app and point out some of the changes. As you can see, the first main change is, uh, is in the application, I mean, the look itself, how it's structured. It's a much uh, cleaner uh, look, uh, much fresher. And also we put some books up here that we are really proud of. Once you enter the book as a student, uh, you can do a few things. You can choose an avatar for yourself. You can also choose your interest based on these categories. And you can also uh, make or fill out a placement test, a Lexio placement test uh, that measures the, the level of you as a student. And these two things, the placement test and the interest, helps a lot to the system, of course, to recommend you as a student the best uh, books and also to the teachers so that they are more aware of what's the level of the student, what's their interest. So it helps them as well uh, to recommend the books that are the most uh, relevant for them. Uh, so as a student, you filled out the Lex Lexile test and uh, the interest and uh, it already created you the recommended library. Uh, I am normally level one, uh, but now we uh, look at all the books. Here you can choose from the levels just as before. We have six levels uh, based on recommended age groups and proficiency level. So level one has simpler books uh, for, with shorter sentences, uh, simpler vocabulary, uh, the most basic things of English language. Even, even total beginners uh, can enjoy this level. And then the complexity goes higher and higher with the levels uh, as long as it reaches the age recommended age 14. So from level one to level six, it covers books uh, recommended from four to 14. So basically from kindergarten to eighth grade and uh, proficiency level wise, it's from a uh, complete beginner to intermediate level. Uh, so you see the library here, of course, under my books, you will see those books that are recommended to you by your teacher. Uh, when you have a new recommendation, there's even a pop-up window that uh, shows up uh, so you know what to read. 
You also have interest. Here you see all the books uh, that I recommended to you based on the interest that you selected at the beginning. You can also add favorites with this little heart uh, icon. You can continue reading the books that you already started to read. Here you even see this progress bar uh, on the bottom. You see how long you got in that given uh, book. And you can also read uh, the books that you already downloaded. You can reach them offline as long as you have a valid subscription. Uh, this I think is one of the most valuable features. Uh, those who have been using Booker Class, they know it already, but if you don't, then uh, it's, it's something important to point out. If you have a bit weaker connection in the school, uh, um, then it's recommended to download the books before uh, or the other way around. Uh, each student has an individual uh, access to this application, uh, so they can even use uh, the platform at home. Some other new things that you can see up here uh, that we introduce is the coin collection. So every single book, when you open a book, you see uh, the coins that you can earn from them. They are adding up here. And you also have a streak. If I go on my profile, you see that I read in a row one day, uh, and this you can collect uh, as well as uh, well as the coins, and you will see the time you spent reading in total. As we said, uh, we also have a lot of new books. We are going to uh, add at least 150 new titles that uh, you've been probably waiting for a lot. Here you can already see a couple of new titles. Uh, so let me share one with you. And uh, oh, but before, uh, let's go back a bit to the library. This was the teasing, because I would like to ask my colleague Dominica uh, to tell you a bit more about the library, how they structure it, how them as the educational team selects titles, topics, and uh, what's the methodology they are building on. So, so Dominic, go ahead. You, so can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so as you could already hear in the product video, we have songs, we have poems, we have uh, drama, we have uh, modern and classic literature, but as a structure, we can put our content into two categories. First, we have a lot of graded readers. We either receive the level of text from a publisher, which we then illustrate, animate, and add educational games to them. We have books from Oxford University Press like this, for example, or uh, we also license books from uh, other publishers. We license their text and their visuals, but in this case, we modified their text to fit on a certain language level. So basically we also create our own graded readers from uh, you know, famous uh, publishers. These publishers are, for example, Albert Whitman and company from the US or White Star, which is an Italian publishing house, but we also graded the Moomin books, which you already saw in the previous uh, app version. So the other category I wanted to tell you is about is the books we write ourselves. We use these books to fill the gaps between the previous ones in the curriculum. So we tag all of our books, what kind of grammar, what kind of vocabulary, grammar structures, and uh, games you can find in those. And when we see a gap, for example, we don't have a book for superlatives or comparatives, we create, we create one, actually. So for short, we use the common uh, European framework of reference, CEFR, to determine what kind of vocabulary and grammar they need to learn for these levels. And we try to align our books to this uh, leveling system. And uh, topic-wise, our goal is not just to teach them most useful and uh, essential vocabulary that they need to learn for those levels, but we also want to include books that um, have topics that the student and the learners might face and struggle with in their real life. And of course, we want to raise awareness to important topics like um, environmental consciousness or climate change or equality and also celebrate diversity. So these are our main uh, components we, we have in our minds basically when we choose our books and, and to what, what to put in the library. 
did that answer your question? Yes, I think it did. Thank you so much. Uh, and now we can finally uh, soon take a look at the book. Uh, here you again uh, see a couple of more information on, uh, on the titles and uh, the publishers we work with. And uh, here are the famous components of a Booker uh, book. Uh, it's, of course, the text, uh, which Domit said we either take as, uh, as it is, or we write in-house, or we edit, so that it definitely fits the needs of the language learners. Uh, there's also native narration, which can be uh, English, American, uh, or actually we start to use many other accents, uh, because the, we believe that the listening uh, experience also has to be as authentic as possible, and we want to teach our kids the real English. Uh, so mainly it's English and American, but the other accents are coming uh, as well. There's text highlighting to help the, uh, the students in the understanding. Uh, there's illustration and animation. It, it's always in a nice balance uh, with the text so that uh, they actually support the reading comprehension and there are the educational games at the end. And now I think I can say that we are more than ready to finally see a story. We selected one called Wednesday Help. Uh, as you see, when I opened the story, some new things that we added is that you see similar books uh, based on the level and the text and your interest. You also have the Lexile score of the book, uh, the level, the Booker level of the book, the coins that you can earn, uh, a short description, the badge you can collect with reading the book, and then let's start the story. Wednesday, help. Hi, Iris. What's up? Hi, James. I'm fine. I'm worried about the English test today. Iris, the test is tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. Oh, good. We don't have an English test today. Oh no, I haven't got my things for Wednesday's classes. Oops. <laughs> the first lesson is maths. I haven't got a ruler. James, have you got a ruler? Yes, I have. Can I borrow it? No, you can't. Sorry, I need it for maths. But you can sit next to me. We can share it. All right. Thank you. In these stories, you could see the text, the text highlighting the, the illustrations and the animations. You can also choose to turn off the text highlighting or the narration. So the reading experience can basically uh, stay the same as in the case of a, of a print book. You uh, keep seeing the animations, uh, but you can just read for yourself or your students. Uh, we also know that some teachers use uh, the books, uh, like they make the kids read aloud, or even based on the illustrations, they play out loud uh, the story. So this is one of our in-house books. And I think we all know the struggle, what this book is about. I think we have all our own experiences. And uh, actually, this book was written by Kinga, who is also here with us. Hi, Kinga. Thank you for writing this amazing piece. And uh, I just wanted to say that this book was created with a clear focus. And I'd like to ask the audience, do you have any tips or idea what this book is for? What can you teach with this book? So if you have any suggestion or opinion, please uh, write in the chat box and let's see. And meanwhile, I keep. Let me know, Domi, when I can restart the story. I don't see the chat box. Okay. So somebody wrote school things, definitely. Okay. So let me let me just close this. Have got grammar? Yes, exactly. Days of the week? Yes, we had yesterday and we had tomorrow. We had Wednesday, Thursday. Sharing, <laughs> yes, that's nice. <laughs> Subject, exactly. And uh, you can also learn about the essentials, what is required for which subjects. 
And also we have, have got, we have some uh, polite questions like, can I borrow? And how to express our needs. Classroom objects, yes, exactly. Thank you. So let's see what the games are about. And Kinga, feel free to add anything. I don't want to take your show away. First, let's finish the story because that's the biggest. Oh, busy. sorry. I'm really. Let's take a look. Hi, at Iris. Are you ready for the test? What test, James? The English test. Oh, no. I forgot about the test. Obviously. Dear students, I have got some bad news for you. Mr. Coleman is ill today. You haven't got an English lesson today. Your next lesson is art and design. Oh, Iris, you're really lucky. Yeah, so this is how the story ends. Iris is very lucky. And uh, here I really wanted to tell this story because it's such a funny coincidence that yesterday I visited my family. Uh, my cousin is a fifth grader and he was supposed to prepare for an English, English uh, uh, class or English test. And they were fighting with his mom uh, because he said that he's just not willing to study. And uh, then I was like, OK, you know what? I know a story for you. And I set him down, showed him the story. Uh, he listened to it. He did the exercises. Uh, he was very nervous still about the test. And 10 minutes later, he comes out from the room and he says his English class was cancelled. <laughs> so apparently these stories uh, can actually come true. It was very funny that it just happened yesterday. So this uh, story can predict the future, actually. <laughs> looks like it. So let's take a look at what games we have in the book. Uh, here you see the timetable and then... Turn the page for some games. Iris has a lot of friends. Who helps her on Wednesday? So this is a reading comprehension check. So who offered and what? So I think the, the textbook goes... gives a textbook to Iris. Go ahead. Yeah, the librarian. The shoes came from the girl. Jill gives I shoes to Iris. Me. The paints and paper comes from the art teacher. Different colored paints to Iris. As you can hear, there's a lot of repetition. So the same structures keep coming back. My video stopped. For Is it only me who cannot hear uh, Anna? So you have an access and, uh, and you can see how the students were doing uh, with the uh, exercise. Okay, you were frozen, Anna, just what for a couple of need for school? But it's okay now. Okay. So what I said is that in the teacher's dashboard, as a teacher, you can follow the results of, uh, of the games. So you can take a look at your students' um, uh, improvement, how they did with the exercises and how much time they spent uh, reading. This is another uh, example. For drama, she needs a costume. So here costume. you can. She needs practice, a uh, I need also the I need structure in a sentence. He, she needs shoes. And then let's take a look at the next one. What is missing from Iris's timetable? Yeah, it's more like a brain teaser, a cognitive task for fun and for cognitive development, some logic. And so on. Let's see what the bunny tells me. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> well, we always give feedback to the students so they get a little bit more motiv motivated to do the next task. And they can also see their own. See the students like. I love numbers. I'm good at counting. My favorite thing is my calculator. So this is more, uh, a more complex listening game. 
which I think it's more difficult than the previous ones. So we had this, uh, you know, built up uh, difficulty in the games. So let's choose math. I like sports. I'm good at swimming and running. My favorite game is basketball. Not good. Oh, no. I like drawing and painting. I make pictures for my family. They think my pictures are beautiful. And here it goes. And then the last game is... Find the pairs. This is also a memory game, just for fun and cooling down the children. But you know, these exercises are only our suggestions. We always have at least four games at the end of the book. But we, we upload a lot of extra materials to the teacher's dashboard. And we also have a, a Facebook group, a teacher's community group, where we always uh, post extra materials and ideas and everybody is uh, you know, welcome to share their own experience. So I think this application has many opportunities, countless opportunities, and the stories it, themselves. So just you just need some creativity and yeah great so this was uh let's see the end because the end. here we introduced some new things as well you will see it very soon so once you finish the story as a student you either get coins if you read the whole story which i didn't uh, so i don't receive the coins but you also have some uh, book recommendations based on the previous uh, book that you were reading. So this is how the students can keep reading and reading. Uh, and now that it's half time, I would like to uh, tell you again that uh, for those who are staying with us, uh, we will give the opportunity to test or try out the application for a full month with up to 25 students. So stay with us and uh, keep the questions coming. I only see that we have 56 messages that I haven't uh, read. So keep the questions coming. Uh, and now I would like to turn to my other colleague Zoltan uh, and ask him uh, about the production, because I can say that our most significant characteristic in, uh, in Booker is the really high quality. And uh, the educational team and the production team works very closely uh, together to make sure that uh, what we provide is, uh, is, is focused on education, it has the strong foundations, but at the same time it's entertaining, engaging and, uh, and beautiful. Uh, and I think it's very interesting to see how they actually work. Uh, so uh, Zoli, if you could share uh, a few details of, uh, of a book, that would be amazing. Thank you. So hello everyone, I'm uh, Zoltan Shostay and I'm the head of production here at Booker. And as Anna mentioned, um, our goal is to create really high quality books here. And uh, high quality means high quality from two points of view, from the educational point of view, but also from the visual point of view. And in order to create high quality books, um, we need to create high quality animations. And in order to create high quality animations, we of course need to uh, create high quality illustrations. And then to create high quality illustrations, um, we need some plans uh, on how to create these illustrations. So this is like, you know, what I said, and now it's like the whole uh, production line uh, from backwards. And so uh, let me give you a quick tour through the production, starting from the plans, through the illustrations, and then going uh, through the animations, how they are created, and how then a book each uh, it, each book is assembled from the animations. So let me share my screen with you because I have prepared uh, some snippets from our production. Okay. So um, I'm hoping that you can see my screen now. So you already saw Wednesday Help. And so I chose uh, this book to illustrate how uh, we are going through the production. So we start with the planning actually. And so with each of the, each of the illustrations, uh, we try to plan the whole animation. Okay, so every illustrator is a little bit of an animator as well, and also a bit of a director as well. 
And so what you see here um, are the plans for the first shot of Wednesday help. These are basically draft illustrations on which we plan to create the whole illustrations. What we are doing right now is we are walking through um, these draft illustrations, which are basically, um, you know, together they create the storyboard of the whole book. So this is where we are starting off. And of course, um, we are working in connection with Dominica's team, the educator's team, in order to create um, the best camera movements, the most fitting environments, the best characters, and so on. So what you see here are basically um, the very first steps of creating uh, the animations. So the, our illustrators are not only drawing the, the book, but they also are the directors of the book. So they plan everything, how the camera will move throughout the story. So they are very, very talented. I think they do an amazing job. Yes, and then whenever we have that uh, draft pages, then we create the detailed illustrations. And each illustration is actually a very high quality illustration in itself meaning that these are really high resolution, high quality uh, illustrations. So it's easier to create high quality animations out of these. Yeah, so they- and these are not, these are not just, yeah. So these are not just um, simple images here. So what you see here are basically layers upon layers. Um, so they are very deeply uh, layered in order uh, for the uh, animators later to be able to animate um, each part. For example, the eyes, the, um, the hair, the head, everything, on, everything that you see here is on different layers. So they are animatable in the end. What I wanted to add, I don't know if you recognize how many facial expressions are on these uh, children. So when whatever happens, their face will move according to that which helps the children to comprehend if it's a good uh, you know, event, what is happening right now, or is it bad, or is she confused, or is she feeling guilty, or things like that. Yeah, so for each book, um, the illustration takes about at least two weeks to complete, at least two weeks. So this, um, you know, this task is quite heavy for the illustrator. And we already plan with the text boxes in head. So that's why you see the text boxes here on the illustrations as well. Of course, um, whenever we export these illustrations uh, to the animate, for the animator, and whenever the animator exports those, um, they won't be visible because they are only um, put uh, as a top layer in the application itself. But here we also need to um, sort of have these draft text boxes. Okay, so these are uh, the illustrations from the app, uh, from the, sorry, from the video. And then from these illustrations, we create the animations. And so let me just show you how the animations are created. So each page is basically a separate animation. I hope you can hear the voice. Yes, we can. Okay, so each page is basically a separate animation. And for each page, we create a separate video. Hi, Iris, what's up? Hi, James. And what you see here, I'm fine. the frames, the save frames, and so on are part of the today. animation creation. Iris, the test is tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. And here, one of the biggest challenges to, to time the animation with the narration. So everything happens in the same time. When they say something, you oh, can good. see that on the animation as well. You can hear it, and the oh, text highlighting will show you what is happening. Classes. Oops. And also, we create a lot of lip syncing. So it's easier to read um, what the characters are doing. 
so you can see who is the one speaking. Our first lesson is maths. I haven't got a ruler. James, have you got a ruler? Yes, I have. Can I borrow it? So these are basically the no, pages that you can't. saw uh, I need in the book maths. itself. And yes, so these are the pages. Our second and so um, let me just uh, show you the final animations, which are basically just the animations without any sound or any texture overlay and without the same frames, of course. So these constitute the base of a book. And on top of these, our editor team, who work with our special in-house software, put together or assemble the whole book. Um, basically, they are going through a very special creation phase where for each page, they need to, um, I'm stopping my screen sharing now. They need to um, first create the video layer and on top of the video layer, they have to put the audio layer plus um, the text layer as well, a timed text layer as well. So that's how each book is created. And they also create the games. Don't yeah, sure. that. With a very simple, great. So in the meantime, the time is passing by super fast and uh, we still need to cover a few things. Uh, what if I share a few uh, more slides from Sherlock Holmes? Uh, Scandal in Bohemia, a book from o uh, Oxford University Press, just a few more pages before uh, we jump on the last subject, which is Lep's last subject, sorry, which is how you can get on board as a teacher. Uh, so let's see just the last book because we haven't uh, seen many. And then uh, let's take a look at how you use this platform in your own uh, classroom. Sherlock Holmes short stories, A Scandal in Bohemia. The King's Mistake. For Sherlock Holmes, there was only one woman in the world. He did not love her because he never loved women. But after their meeting, he never forgot her. Her name was Irene Adler. We could hear the horses in the street. Shall I leave, Holmes? I asked. Why? I asked. Come on, man, we need you. And so I helped Godfrey Norton to marry Irene Adler. Fire. That evening, Holmes again wore different clothes and a large black hat. So with this book, our biggest challenge was uh, to, to do the illustration as time accurate as we can. So this book is played in the 19th century. So the clothes, the buildings, the street, the map, everything should look like as it was when it was written or when it is uh, played. And then uh, let me scroll to uh, the games. Just Turn to the page for some games. Uh, one or two. These were partially taken from OUP, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Are these sentences true or false? As you can see, for an, a higher uh, age group, it's uh, already uh, more this complex. Is a Match the best question word to complete these questions. So as you can see, we like to create games for each skills. The first one was for reading comprehension. The second one is for grammar. And maybe the third one is for vocabulary. And then we have some communication skill developing games. So we try to give you a complex book Choose the correct answer to. Sorry, I yeah, got it too fast. A... No, it's okay. This is another reading comprehension game.
put the sentences into the correct order. So this is the one for communication skills and also for reading comprehension, a sequencing task. The end. And then you get the recommendation. Which again, I cut accidentally. See, I'm, I'm still getting used to our uh, new platform. Uh, <laughs> so this is about uh, the application. And uh, I think uh, one thing before uh, we move on to the uh, questions and answers that uh, we need to uh, take a look at is of course how uh, the teacher's side changes or uh, how the teachers can use it how we uh, help them uh, so the teacher's dashboard will uh, of course change as well which uh, i think is uh, is again something very useful and practical for the teachers we completely uh, redid the user interface and restructured the statistics and the data uh, visualization so for example the screen you can see uh, now is your class overview uh, where you can see uh, the total coins your student uh, earned during uh, uh, seven days and so on. You can see uh, statistics like this, visualize how many books they read, uh, and you can also see which of your students were the best in reading. Uh, again, uh, statistics about your own students with their classes, the number of books they finished, uh, and then you can take a look at more detailed statistics on each student's uh, improvement. And you will have a lot of book statistics as well, uh, which uh, I'm very happy about. Uh, we tag our books very carefully. Uh, they also have the Lexile scores, the CFR level, the recommended age group, the topics, the vocabulary, the grammar, and you will be able to find all this information inside the teacher's dashboard, as well as the activity tips, uh, printable materials and printable flashcards. So the flashcards that you find in the app, you will be able to print them out from the teacher's dashboard. Uh, and about the books, you can also see uh, how many times they read them, how many times you assigned them to for them to read, uh, how many times they added them as a favorite. So you have information not only on your students' progress, but also on how the books do and uh, which, uh, which ones are the most popular ones for you to offer to them. Uh, so I think it's a great help for teachers. It's definitely going to save you time not only because we will have around 300 books in the library uh, at your fingertips that you can offer to read for your students any moment uh, but also because in this teacher's dashboard you can easily assign books to them uh, you can see how they are doing you can try to understand uh, that maybe one of your students is doing better or worse than you expected if they did the homework uh, so it's really going to um, help you a lot in in preparing the best uh, for your classes uh dominica as a last word if you could say a few um words on uh, on our experience of how teachers uh implement uh the solution into the classroom i think that would be very useful uh for our audience mm -hmm. i think this is because we have now the desktop version for the students and the teachers as well, it gives you many opportunities to use. You can use it in small groups. The students can uh, read the books independently on their own devices or the school devices, or just as Anna uh, shared her screen, you can uh, share yours uh, for distance learning options as well. And also um, you can uh, do some exercises offline as well because we have um, our activity tips uploaded on the teacher's dashboard and those activity tips not only contain digital tasks and exercises you can do with your students but also offline and tangible you know activities so i think there are countless opportunities but also we would like to give you the better help or the the most help we can so we have uh, webinars quite frequently more technical not just this which is like a you know product introducing webinar but we have more like technical and methodology wise uh, webinars but also we have this uh, so-called booker class teacher community group on facebook where we share some extra materials with you for example now we we are going to publish um, a new board game.
for the summer or for the end of the year. And we have some timetables they can color out and fill in. And they're like, yeah, we have some achievement cards and certificates. So we want to give you the goodies as well, not only the app itself. And also we are waiting for your feedback as we were before. So we could do this uh, 2.0. We are really waiting for the other one so we can create Booker Class 3.0. So feel free to shoot us with your feedbacks. I can imagine our CTO being very happy at the moment. <laughs> Booker Class 3.0, that's something uh, we like to hear. Uh, great. Thank you so much, uh, Domi. And uh, I just want to wrap up. Uh, before we move on to your questions. Uh, so this new version that we just introduced to you is coming in July, uh, July 1st. So whoever has the subscription already, uh, please be aware, we will inform you on the way on uh, what to do, what you have to uh, be aware of. Uh, on the last day of uh, June, we will probably have a little bit of outage, but then on July 1st, we are back with this new app that is going to be available for computers and mobiles, for families, as well as for teachers and students, um, with a doubled number of books. And from now on, we will continuously add new books to every level. Uh, and as Domi said, we are super excited to hear your feedback on the content as well. What would you like to have more of? Uh, if you are interested in having Booker class for your school, I'm sure that the girls already shared uh, our contact details with you. Uh, but if you are from one of uh, these countries, uh, if you are from Turkey, Greece, the United Arab Emirates, Argentina or Uruguay, uh, you can directly content, uh, contact your local distributors. Uh, and as a last note, uh, if you are, if you would like to try this application out after its launch uh, for one month for free with 25 students, then please feel free to fill out uh, a form that's just being posted into the chat. Uh, you can choose different periods of one month uh, when you think it's the best for you to try it. Uh, we will get back to you, set up the account for you, and then you can try it out uh, as one of the first uh, people uh, with your own uh, class. Uh, thank you so much. I think I will, it's time for me to stop the share and uh, give room for uh, the questions. So feel free to even unmute yourself or uh, pass the questions in, uh, in the chat box. I already saw that there was plenty coming. Uh, and yeah, I already asked Chatty to collect some of them, which weren't uh, answered before. So, Shari, do you have any questions that need to be answered? Yes. How many books are in the library? Zoli? <laughs> I think if there I know are, well, the app will launch with around 300 books, 350. Yeah, there are, there are 300 books in the library, but around 50 is coming. and. Um, at the end of the year, uh, we're going to have about um, 560. So we not only doubled our content, we will triple it by the end of the year. All right, there was another question. Uh, will all subscriptions will be accessible in the new system? If you have a valid subscription, that I mean, that's valid for longer than uh, July 1st, then obviously uh, you will receive all information uh, on time. Or if you don't for some reason, uh, then reach out to us. But if you have a subscription uh, now that's valid for longer than July 1st, then absolutely you can, you can use those with the new system as well. Uh, there was another run about uh, for how long the subscription lasts. Mm -hmm. Normally, our subscriptions are for one year. So if you are a school or an educational uh, entity, then you can sign up for yearly licenses with your students. Uh, if you are a parent, then you can also choose a monthly renewable uh, subscription. So Despina wants to ask, something so the floor is yours 
First of all, I want to say great thank you. You're doing a great job. I'm very thrilled. 560 books in their hands. Amazing, amazing. I would like to ask something. Uh, sometimes we, we, we want to pause while listening to the stories. We want to pause and let students read it. But there is a bar coming out. The and bar is removed, is I'm happy to say. That we pause it, we don't see the bar, and we can read it. Exactly, this was solved. This was, yeah. again, something that uh, we received a lot of feedbacks about it. And now if you pause the story, uh, you see no bar, you see nothing, you only see the page, and uh, you can read in your own speed. Excellent, thank you very much. Sorry, I had my camera closed. I've got parents reading here where they say, I'm sorry. No problem. Good luck with you. Good luck for you, Despina. Thank you. Have a good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Uh, thank you Hi. for the extra information. We are sex, sex, uh, subscribers this year, and we really like the app. Uh, and I strongly recommend it to all the teachers, especially of the primary schools. Uh, I have a question. Uh, we would like to assign books for summer holiday, but uh, I cannot see them. Uh, I mean, the reviews are not enough. So what should I do to see uh, the book itself? I see some names and the titles of the books, but uh, there is only short like description. So should I assign it to myself first and then check it? Uh, like, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. normally. I Normally, it's a very easy process. I think it's the best if you send us an email uh, to uh, Shari, if you can uh, write, please, uh, the email address to us. And then okay. uh, feel free to, to send us an email and we will uh, solve this specific problem. Otherwise, the book assignment is uh, will be uh, much easier in the next uh, platform than it is at the moment. Uh, you will be able to assign books for a, for. Uh, students one by one, or for the whole class, or for uh, students, uh, a group of students. So it will be very flexible. But with this specific problem, if you send us an email, then uh, then feel free to. Uh, yeah, I will. I will get back to you. Sorry. Thank you very much. It's it's nice job. Really helpful. For Thank you. And Thank I'm you. very proud of Hungary as well. <laughs> Shari, is there any more question or anybody else? Oh, yeah. Yes, there was a question about the price. Mm -hmm. uh, for the price, I would recommend you to reach out to us directly. Uh, uh, it's especially because uh, depending on the geographical location or the size of the school, mainly or the length of the cooperation, it can be different. So if you're interested in the pricing, just uh, shoot us an email. Uh, I think you can uh, sign up or send an email to Anna at, and Shari will write it soon, Anna at bookerkids.com, and uh, I will get back to you on it. Uh, there's also the one month trial, which Hanna actually just uh, sent. Uh, uh, and you can sign up for that in the chat box here uh, on the form. Anything else? I saw that there was a question if the students can access all levels and all books, they can. However, this is also uh, something on our roadmap uh, for, for teachers so that they can block a few content if they would like. Uh, but we kind of do the opposite of the, this as well, uh, because we are creating a lesson view mode where the teachers are able to assign basically whole lessons for the students and they are recommended uh, new books uh, continuously based on the vocabulary and the grammar and the level. So new features are coming. Uh, it's just the beginning this July. If there are no more uh, questions, uh, then, or if you have any more, then feel free to ask them now in the chat box. Uh, if you don't, then, um, then uh, just send us an email. Uh, you saw, I think, many times different email addresses. You can reach out to us on Instagram, on Facebook, um, anytime, and uh, we are more than happy to help. Placement test. Yes, there is a Lexile placement test <laughs> uh, at the beginning when they enter. 
Thank you. I think, uh, yeah, I think let's wrap it up. Shadi just sent our Facebook, our Instagram. Please feel free to follow us because uh, this means that you are informed on all the updates. On July 1st, we are coming. Uh, if you would like the free uh, trial, then uh, sign up to the link and uh, just let us know if uh, we can help you with anything. And thank you so much. We really appreciate seeing so many of you here. It's uh, such a big uh, event for us, to be honest. So yes. thank you so much. And thank, thank you for you. the good questions. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, night. Thank you for those who joined us from Asia. It's very late there. So thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye.